So I'm graduating from university tomorrow, virtually, but still I'm graduating and I feel like a huge part of me hasn't really taken the time to think about graduation and think about what this means to me. So I think I'm just gonna talk about it to a camera and kind of use this as a journal entry. And I know for a fact I'm gonna kind of ramble a bit as I try and put my thoughts together, but I'll try and just keep the parts in that make sense and hopefully this won't end up being too too long but I definitely want to have some sort of documentation of my graduation and my feelings around it. When I initially started my YouTube channel I did it because I wanted to document different parts of my life and I'm really grateful that I did that because now I have all these videos of you know, what my room looked like and what my day-to-day -day life was like in university and what my vacations were like and even things like what clothes I wore or my favorite Netflix shows. Maybe right now it doesn't seem all that exciting, but I really do think that, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now, it'll be really cool to be able to look back and see what my life was like and what I was like as a person and even the things I liked. I feel like even now looking at some of the videos that are like one or two years old is kind of fun and for a lot of my memories I'll just write about them in my journal but for some things I definitely do like having videos instead and I think my graduation is definitely one of those. So I actually haven't been in classes since December which is when I was technically done but the way that the graduation schedule worked was that I had to wait until May to graduate, so I've been in this really weird limbo situation where I was done school, but I wasn't really officially done school, so it's been a strange period to navigate, but I will say I'm really glad that I didn't have to go through the whole online class thing with Zoom lectures and whatnot, although I was really looking forward to having my in-person ceremony in May, I think. We're supposed to have an in-person one later on when it's like safe to do so, but then we'll have two graduations, like the virtual one and then later on an in-person one. I don't really know how that's gonna work. I'm just counting tomorrow, the virtual graduation as my graduation. Anyways, this definitely does feel like a huge milestone. I feel pretty accomplished. There was so much studying and reading and writing papers and finishing assignments and being stressed out about deadlines and even crying about exams. There was so much hard work that went into this. So finally being able to get my diploma, which is still in the mail, but I will get it, is definitely something that I'm proud of and I definitely do feel accomplished. I majored in psychology and minored in commerce and I'm really grateful that I was able to be in programs that I genuinely enjoyed or at least for the most part like 90% of the classes were really enjoyable to me and that there was also space for me to take electives that revolved around some of my other interests. I actually, at one point in my university career, I wanted to change majors to be in media studies, but that didn't end up working out, so I had to stay in psychology, which I'm actually really grateful that ended up happening because I really ended up finding out my love for psychology, and at the same time, I had room to take electives that were within that media study so that I could still kind of do things that interested me outside of my major, which was really, really great. And don't get me wrong, there was definitely some classes that were way too tedious and I didn't enjoy like accounting and economics and even some of my neuroscience classes that were taught by professors that 
weren't all that engaging, weren't the best, but overall, I'm really grateful for the kind of learning experience that I was able to get in my degree. And this doesn't just feel like a huge milestone because I feel accomplished, but also because it marks the end of my life as a student. And that's a really weird thing for me to think about because for the grand majority of my life, I have been a student. Like, I'm pretty sure most of you that are watching this video have been. And honestly, I consider being a student a pretty big part of my identity and who I am as a person. So for me to go from being a student for so long to not being a student is kind of a weird concept for me to think about. And in many ways, it feels like now that I'm done is really when I'm entering the real world. And I'm not gonna lie, it does feel a little bit scary. I think when you're a student, you have a fairly set direction. Like when you're in high school, you have to take these courses to be able to graduate. And once you're in a university and you've picked a major, then you have all of these requirements you need to do and you have to take these exams and do this and that. And your direction is kind of set and you're, you know what course you're taking up until you graduate. And now that direction has kind of widened and now there's all of these different possibilities and choices in what I could do and there's a sort of uncertainty that comes with that at least for me and also leaving UBC is kind of sad for me because I genuinely did like the university and I absolutely love the campus and I actually credit a lot of my personal growth to being at UBC and I'm not just talking about the education that I got from courses which obviously that definitely factors into it but I'm also just talking about the life experiences I had and the kind of people that I was able to meet by being on that campus and it definitely wasn't perfect there were definitely some things about the university that I didn't really love but for the most part I'm really grateful that I was actually able to spend so much time there and to study there and I've been talking for long enough, so I hope that you enjoy whatever actually made it into the video and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Good morning, today is the day of my graduation and I'm not really dressed fancy or anything for it. I'm literally just wearing jeans and a t-shirt, but at least I'm wearing a UBC shirt. So that's kind of for the occasion. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the computer, hook it up to the TV so that we get a little bit of a bigger screen. All right, so my family set up this really cute decoration. We have some balloons and a little gift and champagne and that little banner up there. And here's the TV that we're gonna be watching the ceremony on. There's the cable I'm gonna have to hook up to my computer. So I have this graduation cap and it's actually my sister's from high school from 2019, but I mean, at least I have one. I gotta put my glasses on because I don't think I can see it very well without them. Thank you for joining us online for this very special ceremony to celebrate the class of 2020. Today, we celebrate all that you've accomplished and all that you're going to accomplish in this new chapter of your life. You've worked hard to get to graduation and you should be proud of that. I know that this isn't exactly how you imagined crossing the finish line, but you did. You did cross the finish line. Is that sometimes struggle makes you a stronger person? and a better person. Penyania Panangia. Where there is a will, there is a way. Schooling might end. Learning will continue. <laughs> Did you get it? If you didn't, let's try one more time. Okay, so we thought there was gonna be a little thing where a bunch of the classmates would be shown and they would do it by groups. You know, kind of how it is at graduation where they go through like A through C, or even if they just like clumped some letters together and made little things like that, but apparently that's not a thing. So instead they just gave us our own little clip with our name. So we're just gonna be playing that now. That's 
me. Okay, we're gonna try and get some pictures of the graduation cap up in the air and hopefully it works. Oh. have our little balloons and then the sushi is right there now we're just gonna have a good dinner and then maybe after champagne oh there's the breeze Oh, thank you. Yay, cheers.